I'm about to do your Leo January 2021 love reading, and in this reading we're going to take a look at the love story between you and your romantic person of interest. Leo, how is it going? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Leo love reading video. If this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of the Leo love readings I post for you every week. Now let's get on with this Leo reading for today because today we're going to take a look at the love story. This Emperor card wants to come out for you. That's twice in a row has jumped out. We're going to take a look at the love story between you and your romantic person of interest. And I'm going to do that by pulling some cards for you, Leo. And I'm going to pull some cards for your person. Then I'm going to pull some cards for the energy of the connection between the two of you. And we're going to take a look at these energies in terms of the recent past, the current energies for January 2021, as well as the energies of the immediate future coming up. And then we're going to clarify everything with the second deck to see if we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. Now keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not even possible for it to resonate with every single Leo on the whole planet all at the same time. It's even possible for the energies to get flip-flopped or reversed around backwards, especially for cross-watchers. So regardless of how this reading resonates for you, you still probably want to check your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign videos just because they can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And you can find the links to those videos in the description box down below. Now enough yakking, let's get on with this Leo reading for today. Let's start by pulling one card for you, Leo, to represent your energy in this connection from the recent past. Okay, we got that quick and easy. Okay. All right. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of this reading is the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is a decision maker. He's someone who's very smart, very analytical, very logical very fair. He's somebody who's kind of emotionally detached. He's not really interested in the emotions behind what's going on or the story behind what's going on. He's only interested in the truth and the facts of the matter, and he's going to use the truth and the facts to make the best, most logical, most rational, most fair decision for everyone involved. So that's the overall energy of the reading. Now in the recent past, Leo, you got the Ace of Wands, your person got the Three of Pentacles, and for the connection between the two of you in the recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles. So this Ace of Wands represents a passionate new beginning in something here. So let's clarify this Ace of Wands for Leo, please. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands in Leo's recent past. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Okay. On the bottom of the deck... We have the Three of Cups, so this is reconciliation energy. This is about being reunited and celebrating. So, it looks like in the recent past, you got back together with your person here. We got a passionate new beginning, you guys being reunited and celebrating, moving forward in success and victory. That's a Leo energy right there in that Six of Wands. So is this Five of Wands, though. This is some sort of an internal conflict. Fives are conflict. Wands are about passion and desire, so this is a conflict in your desires. Pulling yourself in multiple different directions, trying to figure out what to do here. Like, part of you wants this, part of you doesn't want this, something along those lines. Yeah, Sagittarius energy next. Temperance, this is being patient about something. This is also reconciliation energy itself, too. Hmm. Commitment, taking things to the next level. Judgment, card of second chances, resurrecting a situation, bringing something back from the grave, bringing it back to life. Okie dokie. So, looks like in the past you started over with your person here. Passionate new beginning. To clarify that Ace of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Leo card, the Sun card. So this Four of Swords, this is taking a pause, taking a rest, taking a break, doing some healing, 
going internal, doing some thinking, some contemplating about something, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. So it looks like there was some sort of a break in your connection and you guys patched it up in the recent past. We have the Page of Cups next. This is news and messages of love and emotions. This can also represent expressing love and emotions to your person or your person expressing love and emotions to you. Maybe you making a love offer, your person making a love offer, you receiving one. Whatever it was, it made you really happy. This is the happiest card in the deck. Leo energy here. This is happiness, joy, bliss, abundance, harmony. This, you can't get a better card than the sun. Now, in the recent past, Leo, your person has the three of pentacles. This is teamwork, collaboration. Working together is equals to build something of value, to build something great. So tell me more about this three of pentacles for Leo's person in the recent past, please. Why is this three of pentacles here Leo's person? Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of swords. So this is thinking about something over and over and over again on a repeating loop in their mind. It's like grinding on something over and over again. Feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. Not sure what the safe step to take is. A lot of times this is like a a self-imposed mental prison of their own thoughts about trying to build something together with you, trying to teamwork and collaborate with you, working together as equals. That's the card that we're clarifying here, this Three of Pentacles. So that's just the universe's way of hammering the point home. Dude, they're stuck in their head about this connection, about trying to build something together here. Justice, this is a card of balance, doing the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing. Trying to balance the situation back out. Yeah, we have a wheel of fortune here. There was some sort of change in, a, in the luck and fortune, some sort of turn of events that took place here. The wheel spun, probably changed things, which is why you guys were on some sort of a break. Oh yeah, right under that we have a tower moment. So this is when everything came crashing down. Something abruptly changed in this connection. That's exactly what happened. In the past, something abruptly changed. Ace of Wands again, which is your energy in the recent past. This passionate new beginning here. Okay. To clarify this Three of Pentacles for your person, we got the Magician, we got the King of Swords, and we got Death. So the Magician is a master manifester. This is someone who has all the tools, all the abilities, all the resources, all the smarts. They got everything they need to manifest whatever it is their will desires. Looks like what their will desires is working together with you, building something together with you. This is a very balanced energy. Next we have the King of Swords, which again is the overall energy of this reading. Someone who's very smart, fair, analytical, Interested in the truth and the facts of the matter is going to try and make the best, most logical, most rational, most fair decision for everyone involved. But they're stuck in their head about it. <clears throat> Death. This is some massive transformation that took place in the past. This is something dying so that something new and better can be reborn in its place. Now for the connection between the two of you in the recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles. This is holding on tightly to something, not wanting to let go of something. So this is the connection. You guys were both holding on tightly to the connection. Even though you were on a break, even though some stuff went bad, there was some sort of a tower, even though your person's stuck in their head, they've made some sort of a transformation here. They looked at the truth and the facts. They realized what they want to manifest is something together with you. They're not willing to let go of it. You're not willing to let go of it. So tell me more about this Four of Pentacles or this connection in the recent past, please. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Six of Wands. Leo Energy. Moving forward in success and victory. This is also a card of recognition, like you guys being recognized for something or both of you together coming to some sort of a recognition about this connection, about not wanting to let go of this connection, about moving it forward in success and victory, about reuniting, being reunited and celebrating. Two of Cups, this is a strong emotional love connection between the two of you. This is I breathe you in, you breathe me in, we're connected, but it's a two, and in tarot, twos represent needing to make a choice. 
And it looks like the choice was to move forward rapidly. This is the second fastest moving energy in the deck. This is rapid back and forth passionate communication, rapid forward movement, rapid forward progress on something you guys have a lot of passion and desire for. Now, to clarify this Four of Pentacles for the connection between you, we have the Hierophant, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, this Hierophant, this is a card of commitment. This is about taking things to the next level from wherever they were in the past. It looks like you guys were on some sort of a break. Neither of you wanted to let go of this. You guys both wanted some sort of a commitment. You wanted to take things to the next level. I think that's probably the recognition that you came to. Yeah, definitely wanting to reconcile this situation. Next, we have the King of Wands. This can be Leo energy. This can be Sagittarius energy. This is someone who has a lot of passion and desire. This is telling me there was a lot of passion and desire in the connection between the two of you. Both of you coming to some sort of a recognition about what it is that you actually want and then going after what you actually want. The King of Wands sees things through until the end. He doesn't take no for an answer. He doesn't let things get in his way. He doesn't let roadblocks and obstacles stop him. He goes after what he wants and he gets it. Then we have the Seven of Swords. Now, this card has a few different meanings. So I'm going to tell them all to you. You take it however it resonates for you. Sometimes this is a card of trying to get away with something. Sneaky behavior. Lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking around behind each other's backs. Some sort of deceptive behavior. Now this can also represent self-preservation, as in not wanting to be hurt. That's the whole reason this guy is stealing these swords. He doesn't want those swords used against him. He doesn't want to be hurt by those swords. So he's stealing them to make sure they can't hurt him. The other meaning for this card is leaving something behind. He can only carry five of these seven swords, and he's kind of got to leave these two behind because he can't carry them. So this card can represent leaving something behind. I'm feeling more like this is like self-preservation, not wanting to be hurt. Unless this is talking about what happened to cause you guys to go on the break, whatever this tower moment was, there was some sort of sneaky behavior in the connection. Hmm not 100% sure on that yet. Now, when we get to the current energies for January 2021, Leo, you have that Seven of Swords again. Your person has the Queen of Cups. And the connection between you is the Lovers. So again, Seven of Swords, what I just said, this could be sneaky behavior. This could be self-preservation, not wanting to be hurt. This can be leaving something behind. So tell me more about this Seven of Swords for Leo in January 2021, please. Okay. On well, the bottom of the deck, we have that Eight of Swords again that we just saw for your person, thinking about something over and over again, grinding it on this repeating loop in your mind, not being sure what the safe step to take is, and feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because of that. Hmm. Okay. To clarify the Seven of Swords, we have the Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This Page of Wands, this is news and messages of passion and desire. This can also represent taking the first steps down a new path towards something that you have a lot of passion and desire for. If you notice, the Page of Wands is carrying the Ace of Wands, which is here in your energy. And we've already seen that on the bottom of the deck when I was clarifying your person's cards. I'm still not 100% sure what this is about. I, I don't know that... Like you're not wanting to, I don't know. You're either not wanting to be... I feel like this is probably multiple messages for different Leos watching this. It's going to mean one thing for you. It's probably going to mean something entirely different for the very next Leo that shows up to watch this reading after you. I think for some, some people, this is sneaky behavior still rearing its head. You're still thinking about the sneaky behavior. 
for some people, this is about not wanting to be hurt because there was some pain in the past. Why else would you have to go internal and do some healing? <clears throat> Why else would the Seven of Swords be showing up again? Clearly, you guys were on some sort of a break. You didn't want to let go of each other. You're trying to reconcile the situation in the past. Maybe this is you guys leaving the past in the past, walking away from it and leaving it behind. Going down a new path towards something that you're passionate about. But then we've got this Four of Cups. This is either emotional discontentment, like not being fully happy, not being fully content. You can see the lady here looks kind of bored with the Three Cups that she has. So much so that she's daydreaming about this other thing that might make her more emotionally content more emotionally happy than what she has with these three cups here. Now, this can also represent a love offer already being on the table, just hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. So this could be telling me that whatever happened in the past, you, you guys were thinking about reconciling, wanting to reconcile the situation in the past, just hadn't quite happened yet. This could be saying there's a love offer currently on the table between the two of you that hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. And I think the love offer is probably one that you are receiving. Your person's making this love offer and you haven't accepted or rejected it yet because we've got two twos next. Two of swords is a decision that needs to be made, only it's not being made. Like Love offer on the table that hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. Decision hasn't been made yet. And it hasn't been made either because you don't have enough information to make the decision. There's something you can't see, hence the blindfold. Or there's something that you just don't want to look at, and that's preventing you from making the decision. Next, we have another two, two of pentacles. This is a card of balance, but it's more along the lines of trying to regain your balance or maintain your balance. It's like a one foot in, one foot out type of an energy, like weighing the pros and cons to something, like should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I accept this love offer? It's possible there was some sneakiness in the past, and that's still on your mind. And you want to take steps down this new passionate path with them. You're just not quite sure. It's like weighing the pros and cons. Trying to like come to some sort of a decision here. Now for January 20th. Yeah, you're thinking about it a lot. You're stuck in your head about it. The Three of Pentacles. This, again, teamwork, collaboration, working together as equals. You're thinking about that a lot. You're just not sure what the safe step to take is. Justice. This is a card of balance again, trying to balance the scales out, trying to do the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing. We, we already saw that type of an energy here in your person's energy with this King of Swords. This tells me that there was something that wasn't fair, that wasn't just in the past. And this is you still thinking about that, wanting to balance this situation back out. Yeah, we've got that Wheel of Fortune in the Tower again with a Two of Wands, some fork in the road, a crossroad. A decision point and it's a decision this is the third two right here some major decision about which path leads you to the world that you really want and which path do you need to leave behind <sighs> okay I see this like th this overall energy of the reading for some reason that card is kind of like slid over out of the way and I could see the card under it is that two of wands again Fork in the road, decision point, which path leads you guys to the world you want, which path do you need to leave behind? The very next card is this Knight of Cups. This is actions toward love and emotions. Fears, worries, anxieties about the actions towards those love and emotions. So yeah, you, you want it, but you are still got some fears and worries about it. Two of Cups, love connection between the two of you. Now in your person's energy, Leo, for January 2021, they have the Queen of Cups. This is a Cancer energy. This is someone who has a lot of love and emotions for you. They're probably viewing you as the Queen of Cups. Someone who has a lot of love and emotions that wants to give the love and emotions. Very intuitive. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups, please. Why is... Okay. Okay bottom of the deck we have the page of pentacles now this is news and messages of some practical tangible opportunity could be some sort of a gift could be planning for the future six of wands moving forward 
in success and victory. So your person still loves you. They have a lot of love and emotions for you. I feel like this is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as the Queen of Cups. Mm, very loving, mothering, nurturing type energy. Very intuitive, very in touch with your emotions. You want to give your emotions to the people that you care about. You want to support the people you care about. And they're wanting to plan for the future with you. To clarify the Queen of Cups, we have the World, the King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. we got a lot of cups out here. <clears throat> the World is the ending of one cycle, the beginning of a beautiful new cycle. This is what they're wanting from you. They're wanting this teamwork and collaboration. They're wanting to transform this situation in the past. They don't want to let you go. They want a higher level of commitment. They realize what they want, which is you. I think your person might have done something sneaky in the past and that's still on your mind and that's probably what's making you undecided here about whether you can accept or reject this love offer here. Part of you wants to accept it, wants to move down that path toward them and another part of you is still thinking about whatever happened in the past, not wanting to be hurt anymore, still trying to figure out how to leave that behind. That's what they're hoping for is that that cycle can come to an end and a beautiful new cycle can begin. Their next card is the King of Cups. We're clarifying the Queen of Cups. This is their energy. This is your energy. Counterparts. This is like a power couple. This is two cards that are supposed to be together. Two people who are supposed to be together. This means they have a lot of love and emotions for you. They just may not be outwardly expressing that. The King of Cups is... Not someone who wears his heart on his sleeve. He has all those feelings. He just doesn't necessarily publicly broadcast that. And I feel like they have some sadness and remorse about the past. Whatever this Seven of Swords is, whatever they did to cause this split between you, this break that you guys had to take, whatever is still weighing on your mind, they still have sadness and remorse about that. Probably some regrets about that because it's messing up planning for the future. Now, for the connection between the two of you for January 2021, we have the lovers. So, this is divine counterparts. This is a very powerful love connection between the two of you. This is I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We're soulmates. Could be twin flames. Hesitate to use that phrase now. But this is a very, very strong love connection. These are two people who were probably supposed to be together, is what it's telling me. Tell me more about the lovers for this connection. January, that one wants to come out. Of that. If not, if it does, it'll come back out. Tell me more about the lovers, please. Okay. That one wants to come out. We got some extra cards this time. <clears throat> try and put these in order here <laughs> I, I knew it I saw this one and I said oh it wants to come out and when I reached for it I lost it and here it came back out okay so we're clarifying the lovers on the bottom of the deck we have the star this is a card of healing this is a card of hope this is a card of wish fulfillment now this is also the card that comes directly after the tower in the major arcana so you don't ever make it to the star without going through a tower moment first and I feel like that happened in the past, like probably just before where this reading picks up. Now, there's definitely a break between you, definitely not wanting to let go, some sort of a transformation. There was some sort of a tower moment in the past, and this is the guiding light from the universe that shows up after that tower to light the way for this connection, this love connection, divine counterparts, divine represented here in this card. This In a love reading, this can represent not just wish fulfillment, but that you guys are the one for each other. And this can represent that this connection is a gift to you both from the universe. Yeah, planning for the future is next. Now to clarify the lovers for this connection, we have the Hermit, the Six of Wands again, Judgment, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Cups. So the Hermit, this is Virgo energy. This is kind of being forced to go internal. This is like isolation, withdrawal, being forced to go internal, shine your inner light on something, use your wisdom on something. 
doing some soul searching, some deep inner reflection, some deep contemplation, trying to figure out what to do moving forward, trying to figure out how to heal this connection. Next card we have is Leo Energy, the Six of Wands, moving forward in success and victory. <laughs> judgment is next. Now this is either passing your own final verdict and judgment on something, with making some sort of final decision, which I don't feel at all. This feels like second chances. Resurrection, bringing something back from the grave, calling it back to life. Pisces energy here in this hanged man. This is progress is still halted. Stagnation, no forward movement. This is also about looking at things from different perspectives, different points of view. Hanging upside down, doing that. Like looking at it different ways than you would normally look at it. Trying to gain enlightenment, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. So we've got both of these cards that represent that type of a very things are frozen up right now. Let's let's do some very deep, deep thinking on something to figure out how to move forward. And we've got both of those cards. And right between them, we have moving forward in success and victory with some sort of re resurrection here, some sort of second chance here. And then we have the two of cups. This is a love connection between the two of you. This is the minor arcana version of this lover's card. This is a strong, strong love connection here. I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We're connected, but it represents needing to make some sort of a choice. And again, like I said, I see that already in your energy right now. We've got this four of cups, a love offer on the table already. It just hasn't been accepted or rejected by you yet. And we got you trying to make a decision. In this one row of cards, I've got three twos. Twos are about decisions and choices. Now, that's the current energy for the energies of the immediate future coming up. Leo, you got the Ace of Pentacles. This person got the Nine of Wands. And the energy of the connection between you and the immediate future is Temperance. So this Ace of Pentacles, this is... A new opportunity presenting itself. The universe handing you a new opportunity. An opportunity for something prosperous, something, excuse me, abundant, something with a lot of stability potential behind it. This is the seed that has the potential to grow into the Ten of Pentacles that we all want. It's not the Ten of Pentacles in and of itself, but it has the potential to get there. It's going to require some time, some effort, and some work on, on both of your parts. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles for Leo in the immediate future, please. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. This, again, is thinking about something, thinking about this opportunity over and over and over again, grinding it on this repeating loop in your mind. Still not quite sure what the safe step to take is, but thinking about it a lot. Feeling a little bit stuck. Again, what you're thinking about is working together as equals. There's some new opportunity still in the future to work together as equals, and you're still grinding on that. There's that love offer coming in, the Knight of Cups. Actions toward love and emotions. Okay, now, to clarify this Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, whenever I get a card and I clarify it and get the same card, that's the universe saying, dude, I done told you, it's the Ace of Pentacles. It's a new opportunity. This is just the universe hammering that point home. This is an opportunity that you're worrying about, grinding on, thinking about, thinking about, thinking about. Next, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is actions towards something stable, so towards something prosperous, towards this opportunity. You notice he's carrying the Ace of Pentacles with him. Now, this is the slowest moving knight in the deck. It's slow, forward moving energy, slow, methodical, one foot in front of the other type energy, not being in any big hurry, not being in any big rush, wanting to do things the right way. And that's the good thing about the Knight of Pentacles. He doesn't mess shit up because he's rushing, because he's in this big hurry and tears everything all up. He doesn't do that. When he shows up, he shows up with the real deal. He's just kind of slow. Like, from your point of view, it might seem like progress is so slow that it's not happening, but it is. From your person's point of view, it might seem like progress is not happening, but it is. It's just slow and steady. 
Like the tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady wins the race. This is definitely not the hare. This is the tortoise. Next we got the wheel of fortune. This can be divine timing. So if we're if things are feeling too slow, it's because it's on divine timing. I got divine all over the place. Every single row of cards. We got the divine here in the Hierophant. <clears throat> We've got the divine here in the Lover's card and in the Judgment card. And now we've got the Divine here in the Wheel of Fortune and this Temperance card. <clears throat> Excuse me for the connection between you. We just haven't gotten there yet. Divine Timing. When this is supposed to happen, that's when it's going to happen. There's not really anything you can do to force it to go any faster than it is. Hell, you're lucky that it's actually moving. This is progress because we've gone from the Hermit and the Hanged Man, where there is no progress, to now there's actually progress happening. Just happening on Divine Timing. Now this can also represent the Wheel of Fate, the Wheel of Destiny, so this can be a fated event. This can be the universe turning the wheel in the background, making sure that everything lines up the way that it's supposed to for this divine connection to happen. And for me, that's what this card usually represents. What's supposed to happen is going to happen. It's just going to happen when it's going to happen and not a damn second sooner. Now, for your person's energy in the immediate future, Leo, I got the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is about being walled off and defensive, but it's a card of healing. This is the Wounded Warrior, so we've already seen a card of healing at some point out here. I could have sworn it might have been on the bottom of the deck, but this is the Wounded Warrior. He's been hurt, and that's why he's built that wall around himself. He's protecting himself so he doesn't get hurt anymore, so he can heal, so he can get his energy right to take the next step in his journey. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands for Leo's person, please. Why is this Nine of Wands here? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have that Knight of Cups again. Actions toward love and emotions. I think your person is walled off and defensive, maybe because you haven't accepted their love offer yet. I know they made you a love offer. You didn't accept it or reject it yet. You were still trying to make that decision. Yeah, there, you guys definitely have a powerful love connection. Things were just like on pause still. We, we see the break from the very beginning of the reading. We th see this heavier these are very similar energies minor arcana major arcana version of it a lot heavier energy hanged man things were stagnated here your person's sad about that <clears throat> things are moving slow we're on divine timing here i think your person's walled off and defensive possibly a little hurt because you haven't accepted that love offer yet <laughs> three of pentacles first card in their energy Working together as equals. Teamwork. Collaboration. Trying to build something together. Putting in the work to do that. Now remember I said this is the seed that has the potential to grow into the Ten of Pentacles. It's not in and of itself. It's going to require time, effort, and work. There's the work showing up in your person's energy. And they're thinking about it a lot too. This Eight of Swords keeps showing up. Grinding it on a repeating loop. I think that's why they're... They're confused because the next card is the Seven of Cups. Confusion about their options and choices. Not sure what to do. Not wanting to make a mistake. Because they're afraid it will cause an ending here and they don't want the ending to happen. Yep. <clears throat> now to clarify this Nine of Wands, we got the Fool, the Three of Wands, the Tower, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I think they're walled off and defensive because you haven't accepted the love offer. They're ready to take this leap of faith with you. The Fool is about taking that blind leap of faith, not needing to know what all the steps are from beginning to end before they take the first step. Not needing to know what the outcome is going to be before they take the first step. It's just having that blind faith to jump off the cliff and figure out how to grow their wings on the way down. They're ready to take that leap with you and they're still waiting on you to accept their love offer. The Three of Wands is like, they've chosen the path that they want to go down. This is the next card that comes after the Two of Wands that we see in the overall energy of the reading. That fork in the road, that decision point about which path leads them to the world they want, which path do they need to leave behind. 
They've chosen the path in this card. They've already taken steps down that path. They've already made that they've already made that love offer to you. It just hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. They have this positive expectancy that something good is going to come out of this. It just hasn't materialized in the physical 3D realm yet, and they're still waiting on their ships to come in. And I think that's it's causing a tower moment for them. It's like some radical shift in their life. It's like that's probably it probably hurt them that that's happened. Or, this could be telling me that yeah, that waiting on this is like causing some sort of shift for them. It's causing things to like come apart in their world. Or this could be telling me that they're waiting on this massive shift to happen. This like if you accept their love offer, it will be a game changer for them. If you don't accept their love offer, it's going to be a game changer for them. So they're they're waiting on this tower moment to happen. And they're ready to, they're ready to just do it. Like one way or the other, let's just do this. I think what they're waiting on is like this contemplation. The 7 of pentacles is a period of pausing to reflect on the connection on this relationship, on this whole situation, looking at these seeds that have been planted, trying to decide, is this going to grow into that Ten of Pentacles that I want? Is this going to pan out, or is this not going to pan out, and maybe I should cut my losses and move on? So this is them going through that period of contemplating that. Or, maybe they're waiting on you to get done with your period of contemplating that. Although it's showing up in their energy, I feel like this, this waiting around has caused them to be walled off and defensive. And maybe that's shifting things. And now instead of just waiting, they're, they're contemplating what to do. Now, in the immediate future, the energy of the connection between the two of you is temperance. Again, more Sagittarius energy. This is like blending things together, little bits at a time. Not being in a big hurry, which we've already seen. We're, we're slowest moving night in the deck. We're on divine timing. Again, divine represented with the angel on this card. Not being in a big hurry. But this can also, whoa, hey, yeah, this jumps out of my hand and lands on the two of cups. If you notice in the center of the card, there are two cups. Cups represent love and emotions, represents a love connection. In this card, this, this love, this water, has been separated into two different cups. And this angel is blending it back together reconciling the situation tell me more about temperance for this connection in the immediate future <laughs> okay okay bottom of the deck seven of cups options and choices but confusion about those options and choices there's a lot of cups here a lot of different stuff in these cups a lot of emotions involved here. Neither one of you wants to make a mistake. Another meaning for this card is patience. We've got the slowest moving night in the deck out here. It's going to require some patience. We've got your person in this waiting type energy. Being walled off and defensive, waiting, taking a look at this whole thing, trying to figure it all out. Again, this is a seven. This is a seven. Patience. About this love offer, this knight of cups, actions toward love and emotions, uh, patience about working together as equals to build something together here. Putting in the work on all of that. Birthing something new between the two of you. Okay, now, to clear the reason I was laughing so hard, let me get all these back out in order. <clears throat> okay. The reason I was laughing so hard is we're clarifying temperance. First card that comes out to clarify it is Temperance. Again, the universe is saying, just like it did when I was clarifying your Ace of Pentacles and it spits me the Ace of Pentacles, it's doing the same thing. It's like, dude, I done told you. It's Temperance. It's reconciliation energy. They need to be getting back together. They just got to be patient about it. To clarify that, it's telling me a story about what happened, I think. We got the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. We got a lot of swords here. This Five of Pentacles, this is a breakup card. This is, Fives are conflict, Fives are change. 
This is abandonment. This is being cast aside. This is being left out in the cold. This is this is a breakup card. It's trying to the connection here is trying to reconcile from this breakup, from this painful, abrupt ending that took place. Page of Swords, this is news and messages. This is communications. This is an energy of trying to learn something, trying to figure something out, which we've already seen here with this hermit, with this hanged man in the connection. We've already seen it in you where you're trying to make a decision about this love offer that was made. And we've seen it here with your person contemplating this whole connection here. Is this going to pan out? Is this not going to pan out? They're waiting on it. And we've got confusion about the options and choices here. This is trying to figure all of that stuff out here. Thinking about it on this repeating loop in your minds. Grinding on it over and over and over again. Feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because neither one of you is 100% sure what to do. What's the safe step to take? Your person wants to take the leap. They, they want to just like, screw it, let's go for it right now. And you're more like, eh, slow down a little bit. Let's take this one step at a time. We're on divine timing here. This, this is not going to be, screw it, let's jump off the cliff. At least not from your point of view, not in terms of how the energy of the connection is. That, I think that's why your person's a little bit walled off. There needs to be some patience here. There is going to be reconciliation. You're just going to have to wait on it. It's, it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. It's not going to happen just because they want to jump. Because you got to remember, <laughs> there was all this bullshit that went on in the past. There was abandonment, walking away, like leaving someone out in the cold here. There was some sort of a painful ending, probably related to this Seven of Swords stuff that we see here. In now, if you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Leo love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.